Hello everyone, we will be discussing the negative feedback amplifiers. And in this video, we will be considering the current as the input and the output of the system. Because operational amplifier is not only limited to the voltage as the energy input and output. And since we are using the current as the energy reference of our, of our system, when doing a negative feedback, we are taking the fraction of the output current and then feeding it back to the input of the amplifier. And it is governed by the equation of the feedback current gain, AIF, which is equivalent to AI, the, feed, uh, the current gain on open loop, open loop configuration divided by the quantity sum of 1 plus ai times beta i. The beta i here is what we consider the feedback fraction and, and, and is also present to the voltage negative voltage feedback. They are all at the same quantity. It's, it's the gain of the feedback system that will be multiplied to the output energy and will result to the output uh, to the feedback energy and in this case the feedback energy is IF or the feedback current. The negative current feedback does not affect the voltage gain of the amplifiers. The two are independent which with each other. Let's derive the equation for the feedback current gain and we can start by doing a KCL at this node here. So I in is equivalent to the sum of I F and I I. I F from the feedback network is equivalent to I O times the feedback fraction beta. And from the open loop open loop system, our A I is equivalent to I O over I, I, and with that, I, I times A, I is equivalent to I, O, and we can substitute that in this term. To get the feedback current gain, E, I, F, it is equivalent to the new in output current divided by the input current. So that's IO divided by I in. And since IO is equivalent to AI times II, and I in is equivalent to the sum of these two terms, we can get the formula for AIF, and that is equivalent to AIII divided by AIII beta plus II. And the common term among this, among all of the terms here is II, and we can cancel that, and we will end up with the equation for the feedback current gain AIF. What are the effects of the negative current feedback? First, it decreases the input impedance. The new input impedance will become the original input impedance divided by the sum of 1 plus MIAI. Now, the term MI here is the feedback fraction and, and equivalent to the variable beta. It also increases the output impedance of the system and Z out prime is equivalent to Z out and then multiply with the sum of 1 plus mi ai. As you have observed, the effects on the input and output impedance of negative current feedback is reverse of the effect of the negative voltage feedback. For the bandwidth, it still increases the bandwidth because the new bandwidth is equivalent to the bandwidth multiplied by the factor of 1 plus mi ai. 
So let's derive um, the equation relating the new and the old values of the impedances. And we could start by taking the equation Z in is equivalent to V in divided by that's Ohm's law. Now, the V in prime is equivalent to V in divided by I in. Let's take a KCL on the input node here. The currents are I in and it is equivalent to the IF plus I1. IF is equivalent to IO times beta. So, I in is equivalent to AIII beta plus I1. And the same equation can be seen on uh, the earlier part of derivation of this video. Let's consider the value of Z in prime as V in over I in. And we could get the value of V in from the equation of Z in times the I of I1. And that will be put on the numerator. And for the I in part, this is the whole term. That's AI I1 beta plus I1. Now, this is equivalent to the equation of the new impedance, new input impedance or the Zn prime. Because we can cancel just we can just cancel the A1 on all the terms. Similarly, the equation for the output impedance is done in this manner and as well as the bandwidth. For example, the current gain of an amplifier is 200 without feedback. When negative current feedback is applied, determine the effective current gain of the amplifier given that the current attenuation of 0 0.012. We are looking for the AIF or the feedback current gain given the open loop current gain and the feedback fraction beta. It is just um, simply a substitution of the values in the equation AIF is equal to AI over 1 plus beta AI. And that is equivalent. 200 divided by 1 plus 0 0.012 times 200 and lastly our AIF is equivalent to 58.82. Similar with the negative voltage feedback, the value of the feedback gain is smaller than the value of the open loop gain and again that is one of the effects of the negative feedback. It, it stabilizes the gain of the amplifier may it be the current gain or a voltage gain. And by stabilizing and by stabilizing the gain of the system, it increases the bandwidth. For the next example, an amplifier has a current gain of 200 and output impedance of 3 kilo ohm without feedback. If negative current feedback 0 0.01 is applied, what is the output impedance of the amplifier? We are looking for the new output impedance of the system when a negative current feedback is um, applied to the system. So we will be using the ZO prime is equal to ZO times 1 plus beta AI formula. And since all of the Values are given except for, for the ZO prime. We'll just have to substitute that. ZO is 3000, beta is 0 0.01, and AI is 200. And our new output impedance is equivalent to 9 kilo ohm. 